man. It's just one guy making noise. Um, but you know, I enjoy all energy. This shit is done. He used a glass cannon. I get energy from everybody, and um, you know, to be honest, when you're at the top, you're gonna have a lot of hate, and you're gonna get a lot of love, and uh, I embrace both of it. It's both part of the journey. I guess you're expecting uh, a lot of that on Saturday night. Um, no, actually, I was here during the parade, and uh, people here are lovely. They've shown a tremendous amount of respect. Uh, I expect that to happen Saturday. Of course, Steve is going to be the hometown hero. Everybody will be rooting for him. Not everybody, but 99.8%. But, um, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion. We're here for one goal, one goal only. We're going to submit my legacy. We're going to get that championship belt. It will be history. And, um, yeah, the after party for some people will not be as nice. What are your thoughts on Stipe as an opponent? I mean, people are pointing to his power, but obviously you've been in there with some of the best strikers in the game. So, I mean, does he bring anything to the table you haven't seen before? Something that's special? No, I expect him to definitely come with, uh, with his full arsenal. I mean, he has his striking, he has his wrestling base. He's um, yeah, a very dominant fighter. He got power. Everybody in everybody got power, though. So we have to be ready for, uh, for everything. We gotta be ready for uh, for his strikes, for his counter strikes. We gotta be ready for his wrestling. Training camp was great. I feel very confident. You talk about being on the verge of history right now. So does this feel special? I mean, I know you've been in a ton of fights and in, in the spotlight a lot, but being on the verge of something that nobody's ever done does it feel special? It definitely does feel special, and um, there's definitely that extra tingling of nerves. You know, sometimes you don't have nerves. Sometimes you have a little bit of nerves. This is a little bit of nerves. But again, you know, we've been here. This is going to be my 87th fight. We've been here. We've done that. I use that tension. I use those nerves to my advantage. We'll come out on top on Saturday. Alistair, you said uh, a few weeks in an internet interview that you were the, the hungry wolf. Stipe was the wolf with the full stomach. Yes. What were those comments? And I stand by those comments. Uh, Stipe... You know, you keep track of things, and it's not difficult to keep, keep track of things. You, you see things, social media pictures, um, you know, and, and then for example, I went to a UC 200, great event, Vegas. I didn't go to any pool parties, I was training every day. I was doing my appearances, my obligation, I was training. Stephen was going to different parties. You can see that. You can see that on his clothes. He's wearing different clothes, he's at different party events. He's uh, acting crazy, uh, having a drink in his hand. He has been celebrating his victory. And you know what? Who can blame him? He became the champion in the record time. But while he was celebrating, I was working. I was training hard. And my life has been dedicated for the last two and a half years. The last six months, I definitely put on a couple notches more. We're ready, we're gonna get that belt on set. you feel you're the hunger fighter, for sure? I am the, mo I am the most hungry fighter of the heavyweight division, yes. Do you have any predictions for how you see it going down? Is this going to be a, a quick one? Well, you know, I, I predicted second or third round knockout. It depends a little bit on him too because it takes two to tango. Judging his nature, it's not going to take that long, but you never know. There's an X factor involved, right? I mean, he can go away, he can evade, he can be become a different steep all of a sudden. Uh, but um, otherwise, I don't see it last two or three months. Do you think there's any chance he does decide to wrestle you and not stand and strike? Of course, of course. I, I expect him to do everything. He's going to be doing everything because it is everything. It is MMA, mixed martial arts, UFC. Everything is allowed and you need to use everything to your disposal to, to, to beat your opponents. So I expect him to come out with a surprise. If he doesn't, he's going to be stupid. Alex, did you feel your kickboxing skills separates you from despite everybody else in this division? No, 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 no. There's there's other excellent strikers. Uh, Junior Dos Santos is a very good striker, very good striker. Um, you know, my, my, my skills is not what set me apart, but what sets me apart is the ability to finish opponents of all calibers. And there's been many of them. I mean, I fought easy guys, but I've had so many tough guys. I always put them away easy, and I think that's one of my, that's one of my skills. I put people away easy. You know, in my last couple of fights, I didn't even get hit, barely. Didn't even get scratched. I mean, I don't know if Steve is going to be that fight. I never know that beforehand. 
But, uh, you know, whatever. I'm ready. I'm a fight. I'm here, here to fight. If it's going to be a fight, if it's going to be a walkover, I'm ready for all scenarios. You've beaten six guys who have been former champions. You've been with the best. Where do you think Stipe ranks with some of the, the rest of the guys in this tournament? Stipe would rank a perfect number seven in my number of defeating UFC champions. Really? I got six already, so he's going to be number seven.